Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a natural drugstore makeup look. So a very affordable, natural, glowy makeup look that you can wear every single day. So if you're interested in watching my everyday natural drugstore makeup look then just keep on watching and also if you're not already subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content in the future i post a couple videos a week and you definitely don't want to miss them i am also very sorry if the lighting is kind of bad it's cloudy by my house so i'm not getting like good natural light but we're just gonna work through that so to get started i'm just gonna use aquaphor on my lips just to prep them and get this going i love aquaphor it's so cheap and i get compliments when i wear aquaphor like people ask me what i'm wearing on my lips and i'm just like it's just aquaphor so i've already moisturized and everything i'm just going to start with concealer this is the l'oreal true match concealer in the shade w123 it's my favorite drugstore concealer it's oil free so if you have acne prone skin i would definitely recommend wearing this so I'm just going to use this on any spots I feel like need to be concealed. And this concealer is also very lightweight and it's very affordable. I think it was like under $10. Literally everything is either under $10 or $15 that I'm going to be talking about. So if you're on a budget and you're trying to get some natural makeup look, this is definitely perfect for you. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And this is in the shade Light Ivory. So I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit underneath my eyes. Cause I've said this before, but I'm really not a big fan of a lot of under eye concealer. But I am going out today. It's my friend's 22nd birthday. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than I normally do. So I'm just gonna dot a little bit under my eyes. Just a little one, two. This is literally a shape tape dupe. It's amazing. Don't buy the $30 shape tape. This is literally $5 and it works the exact same. So definitely pick one of these up if you love the shape tape concealer. I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers. I always blend it in with my fingers. I just never really use a brush or a, be bleh, a beauty blender. I'm just not really a fan. I feel like, especially if you're going for like a natural makeup look, I feel like blending with your fingers just makes it look so natural and you also want to be super gentle underneath your eyes because it's very sensitive and delicate and you don't want to get wrinkles when you're you know young so always pat i just feel like it's just a gentler way than to use a brush or a beauty blender so now i'm gonna set my face i always use this powder it's just so good and i'm so picky with my powder so i always use this it's the cody airspun powder you can get this at any drugstore or amazon i just love this especially if you have oily skin like myself it is so mattifying and it just stays on your face all day it sets in your makeup it is the best and it's so affordable so i definitely recommend this i'm just going to take it on a morphe m536 also very affordable brush and i'm just gonna put it under my eyes first now i'm gonna set the rest of my face i still use this brush just because i like how it's small and it gets in like every part of my face Okay, now that I'm all set and ready for bronzer, I'm going to grab my butter bronzer. This is in the shade Deep. I love this bronzer. It smells so good. It smells like coconut. I don't know. It smells amazing. And I'm truly obsessed with this bronzer. I wear it like almost every day. So I'm going to take it on a Real Techniques powder brush. And I just kind of go crazy with bronzer. I put it kind of all over my face um, just to, you know. I don't really get tan on my face because I wear so much sunscreen on it so I don't burn. So this is why I always use bronzer just to like bronze up my face a little bit because it doesn't really get that much sun because I'm scared. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Milani blush. This is in Coral Cove and it's, you know, a coral shade. Are we like surprised here? I'm obsessed with coral blushes. Anything this kind of shade for summer is my go-to. And Milani really has the best blushes, so I kind of broke mine, as you can see, but 
that's okay it still works I'm gonna take this on a real techniques blush brush and just put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks so now for my eyes I'm going to use the NYX eye and eyebrow pencil and this is in the shade brown and I'm gonna line my waterline with this because I just that's how I do my eyeliner I always just do it right on the waterline and I just love brown for lighter colored eyes I like green and blue eyes because I feel like black is just too especially my eyes because they're kind of small so when I put black eyeliner on it just kind of looks weird I feel like brown just brightens them a little bit and doesn't make them look it makes them look bigger not smaller so I always go for a brown so for mascara I'm gonna use the NYX on the rise mascara I really like this one this is a good drugstore one especially from NYX so now I'm gonna do highlight and I really love this Maybelline master chrome highlights this is such a good drugstore highlighter it is so bright and it really makes you glow so i'm gonna use this on a fan brush and just do a little bit i don't really want to go crazy today i'm just gonna put it on the high points of my cheek you can really build this one up if you want to do something more subtle then you totally can and if you want to make it blinding then you can do that also So for my lips, I'm going to first line my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. I'm obsessed with this. I've used it in a couple of my videos, I believe. I found this the other day at the drugstore. It's the Milani Nourishing Lip Plumper, and it's in the shade Champagne. And I'm obsessed with this. It's such a good drugstore lip gloss, and it does tingle a little, but... Um, it's not like overpowering because a lot of them are very tingling and it's kind of like uncomfortable but this one is really nice and it doesn't tingle too much so I'm just gonna put this on so this is the final look as you can see it's super glowy and very natural looking and just like you know a no makeup makeup look very affordable everything was at the drugstore and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more content in the future. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more makeup related or natural makeup tutorials. I will see you guys in my next video.